Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out how to become irresistible and magnetic as a woman in your own unique way, stick around, because that's what you and I will be discovering today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to you.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am super pumped today because I'll be sharing with you how to become the most magnetic the most irresistible and the most amazing version of yourself as a woman and have the opportunity to connect the kind of guy that you want. So many women out there right now are feeling the pinch of seeing that there's a lot of women out there who are smart, beautiful, sexy, uh, intelligent, wise and single. So if you want to stand out, sometimes it feels like you, you can do all these things and still not stand out. This is something that can allow you to stand out individually the way you really are in the eyes of a man where he feels compelled to take more action and to own your heart. Number one is ignite your heart. Listen, if you listen to nothing else that I say today, but you pay attention to this number one strategy or tip, turning your heart on, being fully awake, aware, engaged, curious, alive, spontaneous, will bring about the biggest shift in your life. Here's why, because there's so many women out there who are very smart and intelligent, successful, sexy, and they're going around the world half awake, half engaging, half expressing what they really want. So when you turn your heart and you explode it in the way of expressing life and expressing aliveness and expressing gratitude and expressing, it just makes a huge difference. And the easy way to do this is connect to more of the things that make you feel fully alive, the things that you do, the things that you connect with that make you feel super happy, do more of those. And whenever you do more of those, the energy that's generated when you do them will actually expand into your life in such a way that when you enter a room, you have to say anything. That energy is still igniting your heart and connecting to people around you in a different way. Uh, number two way to become irresistible as a woman is be courageous in expressing your opinion of the world. Your opinion of the world is important and it matters. And again, there's a lot of women who have a lot of qualities, but when it comes down to expressing their preferences, it's almost like they, everything is the same to them. All music is the same, and all books are the same, and all political associations and interests are the same, more or less. So when you connect with a man, being willing to express the things you like and the things you hate in a clear way, without fear of the guy thinking less of you, actually not giving a shit what he thinks about it because you're just expressing who you are. You're open-minded in the way that if somebody shows you a different point of view that's interesting, you'll consider it. But you still are starting from a position of knowing what you want and being clear about the things you want and things you don't want. Third step to become irresistible as a woman is making the jump from your head to your heart. Here's what I mean. So many women who have right qualities and are considered in paper to be great catches are going out connecting from a mind perspective with men. When you connect with a man and you're not going to your heart, you're not opening your heart to feel what he's feeling and to express vulnerability about the things that you like and the things you hate about yourself in a way that makes you human and humble and open and expressive. Whenever you're at the head level, that never generates excitement or passion or makes you appear or be incredibly irresistible. An irresistible woman is a woman who can connect to her heart in a second. You have the capacity at any moment in time, you're in your head, dropping to your heart. And from here, you speak differently, you engage differently, you ask different questions, and you receive a man's energy differently. And that makes the biggest freaking difference in the world. Okay, step number four, if you want to become the most irresistible woman you can possibly be is take exceptionally good care of yourself. And here's why. Exceptionally good care of yourself means that you're doing things that are not just self-care, but that are healthy for you. I mean, I totally understand that there's different size and sh sizes and shapes of, of amazing women. But here's the, the truth of the whole thing. Whenever you're not being uh, kind to your body, whenever you're abusing your body at the thought of just being super <laughs> open at life, uh, you're not creating that sense of super excitement with a guy. Guys are incredibly visual. 
So incredibly visual doesn't mean that you have to be a size zero for a guy to like you, not at all. But it does mean that you have to take care of yourself. You have to feel like you're doing things that are making you look amazing and feel amazing so that you walk differently and you radiate different energy. So when you exercise, you exude a different energy than when you don't exercise. It's not to lose the weight, but it's to exude a different kind of energy. Whenever you take care of your hair and your face and your nails and your clothes and you feel sharp, that makes a big difference, not just in the way you look, but in your confidence. And confidence is incredibly attractive. So by all means, whenever you get a chance, to take care of yourself and to do things that pamper you and make you feel and look amazing, go for it 100%. The last one is you have to be willing to walk away. And here's what I mean. Walking away is not just like uh, putting the hand in front of someone and saying, talk to the hand, I'm going to walk away. No. Walking away from a position of abundance, meaning when you start being this way, when you ignite your heart and you speak your truth and you say what you want and you drop to your heart and... Uh, you're doing the things that I'm telling you right now and you connect to a guy who's not fully engaged, not fully getting it or is playing hot and cold or is wasting your time, being willing to walk away with a smile, knowing that there's a spiritual lesson and there's a reason why you connected, but there's something better waiting for you and the more gracefully you make your exit, the more forcefully and the most amazingly that this new guy will come into your life, that's what I'm talking about. Because when you are really willing to walk away, you don't waste additional energy on a guy who's not spending the right type of energy or excitement with you. Whenever you're willing to walk away, you also trust that the universe is something better for you when something doesn't happen. So I hope this makes sense. If you think this is interesting or fun or exciting or useful, I ask you right now to do three things. Number one, click like on this video, subscribe to my channel. You can leave a comment below letting me know if this makes sense to you, if you think I'm full of BS or if you have any questions for me. But most important of all, I want to subscribe to the link below. Click on the link that's on the description of this video because that will guide you through a three-step blueprint that shows you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Thank you so much for connecting with me and for letting me into your homes and into your hearts and look forward to connecting with you very soon.